everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated picks to help you win every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. But before we go into some Major League Baseball games for April 24th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section right here, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So there's a full slate of games. We're going to take a look at four of them for April 24th, so let's get started right away. As we scroll down, we see Boston and Tampa Bay. Colorado and Detroit, Cleveland and New York. This is the first game we want to look at. The Cleveland Guardians, although it still says Indians on the website here, but the Cleveland Guardians, as we know them now, come into the play burning hot, as was well the Yankees are also burning hot. You can see that the Indians, excuse me, I said the Indians, it's the Guardians. The Guardians have won their last two and are three and three over their last six, while the Yankees are burning hot uh, winners of their last two and three out of their last four and four out of their last six. You notice that neither team has uh, named their starting pitcher as of yet. Uh, Cleveland is 3-3 three and three over their last six, while the Yankees are 4-2 and two and have been under in five out of those games. The score prediction has Cleveland by a 5-3 to three margin with a confidence in prediction of about 66%. If you look at the power ranking indicator in this early part of the season, Cleveland is at plus 14, while the Yankees are at plus 12. Since neither team has named their starting pitcher, the pitcher profit oscillator won't help us at the moment, but as they get named closer and closer to the game, you should take a look at that. How stable have the two teams been? You can see that both teams are at plus two, so they're both performing pretty consistently according to their favorite underdog status early on in the season. So what do I think is going to happen this game? I do like Cleveland. Uh, I like Cleveland in a road upset and a game going over the line. Miami and Atlanta, a good NL East battle. We're not going to really take a look at that one, though. The next one we want to look at, though, is the San Francisco Giants and the Washington Nationals. San Francisco comes in average up, and Washington is average down. The Giants are 4-2 and two over the last six games, while the Nationals are 3-3. Three and three. Logan Webb is scheduled to pitch for San Francisco, and Washington has not yet named their starting pitcher. Webb right now... If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that he is at plus 1,503, so he has been an extremely good bet. If you look at the power ranking indicator, Washington is at plus 21, while San Francisco is at plus 18, and they were up to plus 28 just a couple of days ago. And that did probably because of their two-game losing streak in there, but I think they're back on the right path. If we take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor of the two teams, you see that neither team has really been performing very consistently as of yet early on in the season. Washington at 1 and San Francisco at 0. The score predictor has San Francisco in a blowout by a 93 score with confidence in prediction of about 67%. As far as the over-under goes, the teams have combined to go over the line in 6 out of their last 7 games. A very good indication to bet the over, which I would. And I like the Giants to win this one rather easily. St. Louis Cardinals and Cincinnati Reds. Chicago and Minnesota. We want to take a look at this one. This is a classic AL Central battle. Both teams are performing not very well at the moment. Two and four over the last six games. Chicago on a three-game losing streak. Minnesota on a two-game losing streak. As I said before, they're both ice cold down. So not playing very well. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, this indicates it as well as Chicago is at plus 9. They were up to plus 25 just as of April 17th. And on the 19th, Minnesota was plus 17, and they have dropped to plus 5. An indication about their poor play as of late. Neither team has named their starting pitcher. Um, if you look at the score prediction, Minnesota by a 6-4 to four score, but the confidence in prediction right now is only 32%. So take a, a closer look at that. When it gets near the game time to see if that percentage has changed. The stability factor, you can see Chicago has been more stable than Minnesota, but not by much. They've both been performing consistently with regards to their favorite underdog status at 4 and 3. The way I see this game playing out is I do like the Twins, mainly because they're the home team right now. I like them at, at home, but I would avoid the over-under bet. Toronto and Houston. Pittsburgh and Chicago Cubs, that could be a good game, but we're not going to take a look at that. You can see it's a full slate of action for a Sunday, which is typical for Major League Baseball, Texas and Oakland, because this is these will be the last days of the series before they 
start the new week. The Dodgers and the Padres. This is going to be the game of the day, I believe. This is a classic NL West battle. The Dodgers and Padres both coming in burning hot. The Dodgers have won five out of their last six. The Padres five out of their last six and their last. Oh, excuse me, they've won four out of their last six and their last four. If you look at the over-under, you can see the Dodgers have been over in just two out of their last six games. And the Padres only one out of the last six games. It's a good indication to bet the under. Uh, let's take a look at the score predictor. And yeah, the score predictor has it a relatively low total of six runs. Dodgers five, San Diego one, with confidence in prediction of 77%. Clayton Kershaw is scheduled to pitch for the Dodgers, and Sean Manea is set to take the mound for the Padres. Kershaw at the moment has been a better bet at plus 105 on the pitcher profit oscillator compared to minus $45 for Sean Benea. If we take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Dodgers are at plus 20. They were at plus 29 just a day ago, and the Padres have increased from plus 8. They have been on a steady rise because of their big winning streak, and they are at plus 29. The stability factor, you should, they're probably going to both going to be pretty stable. Let's take a look. And they are at plus five both. So there's really no advantage on either side for that. The way I feel like this game is going to go, even though the Padres are at home, I like Kershaw over Manea. That's really what it comes down to. I like Kershaw over Manea. I like the Dodgers to win by a few runs in a game going under the line. Then there's the Mets and the Diamondbacks, the Brewers and the Phillies. And that would be the last game for the week, but we're not going to look at any of those. So there you have it. Enjoy the games. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.